Hello and welcome to CX Today. My name is Charlie and today I'm joined by Martin Taylor, Director of Content Guru. Martin, it's great to have you with us. How are you doing today? Yeah, good to be here, Charlie. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. And yeah, well, today we're, um, it's really kind of exciting to discuss uh, kind of our CX Summit. And um, in this session, we're going to kind of find out a little bit more about um, Content Guru and kind of your outlook for the future of CX. Uh, so I think the first question I will put to you is kind of, uh, could you give us a little introduction of what you uh, do at Content Guru? Yeah, sure. So I'm Martin Taylor. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders here at Content Guru. Uh, I'm a deputy CEO, uh, which means I kind of do quite a bit of everything, really. Um, obviously, Content Guru, if you're, you're not familiar, uh, we are very much a contact centre as a service, a CCAS player, uh, according to recent research, we're number one in the world's number two market, which is the UK, uh, where we're founded, but we're also in the US, throughout the EU, uh, and in Asia PAC. Uh, so a global business with a, a kind of UK heart, really. We focus on large contact centers, so multi-hundred and thousands of seats. So we do some of the biggest ones around, and certainly in the cloud space, you know, I think we're, we're unrivaled in the size of contact centers that we do, uh, and as well in offering a, a five nines SLA and in doing, indeed doing 999 services in the UK, so as emergency services. So we like to think we're the kind of big and reliable player that's also innovative uh, across omni-channel and, and lots of the adjacent parts of the, the contact center spectrum. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think interested is very much kind of the word I, uh, I was reading recently, kind of the work you're doing in healthcare, especially actually um, in, with working with healthcare organizations. And it's really interesting stuff, um, which is, and you know, but you do cover a lot of bases. Um, but it's kind of interesting for me now to ask you kind of, where have your customers found most value um, in using Content Guru over the past 12 months? Yeah, well, obviously, over the past 12 months, the whole kind of CX space has become even more strategic than it was. So when I first started doing contact center, it was seen as a cost center, subject to cost reduction type measures. Now it's very much established as this value center. And I think over the pandemic years, uh, that was really cemented when contact centers often became the only kind of human face between organizations and the public. So strategic and that's meant there's been more I suppose more investment in what's now seen as this value center so from our point of view we've seen obviously omni-channel move from being just something people talked about we weren't sure what the difference was between that and multi-channel to suddenly you know, it, it's absolutely out there there's the expectation that uh, the customer can interact across any channel of, of interaction they, they want any communication device usually a mobile one, but it could be voice, it could be video, uh, it could be an email, a text, or it could be you know, any one of numerous social media uh, platforms, not just sort of Facebook and Twitter, uh, but also you know, WhatsApp, Instagram, we're adding TikTok, TikTok at the moment. So it could be Trustpilot, Fiber. So organizations wanting to bring all of those together, partly to reduce the workload uh, for their, their staff, so I suppose as well as the CX, the EX, the employee experience now matters a lot more. So workload is always that number one source of dissatisfaction if you work in a contact center. Obviously, if you start piling in more and more channels of communication, that's only going to get harder. So we've really worked at simplifying that for, for the people working in that contact center. So it's really about you know, the CX, the EX, we're starting to talk about the OX now, the organization experience, kind of bringing those together. And then I suppose the other big trend we've seen a lot of is more and more intelligent automation. It obviously started when you had big rushes of people needing to, to get into uh, the, the CX environment at the same time. Uh, we saw in the pandemic 10,000 people trying to get into universal credit, for example. That's the, the maximum queue size we've set for that organization. So you can't just expect to deal with all of those in a human way. You've got to have intelligent automation. And so I think uh, we see we have seen in the last 12 months that now accepted among all age groups. It's no longer just a young person's thing. Uh, we, we saw some interesting surveying last year at the ages 65 to 79, 
80 plus and 55 to 64 were kind of in the lead as age groups wanting digital led self-service interaction. So it was very much about evolution from just, I suppose, the, the call center routes into this omni-channel digitally led environment with a lot of intelligent automation going on. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, lots of fascinating um, things now. I really liked, um, but, but by the way, your kind of thoughts on kind of the OX and kind of bringing kind of the contact center and kind of the employee experience, but then also considering the wider enterprise experience. And I'd love to kind of see your TikTok integration at some point. I think that's something I'm not really hearing much of in contact centers, but it's a huge channel, obviously. So yeah, it'd be awesome to see that. Um, and so kind of maybe you've talked about this already in terms of your references to omni-channel and to intelligent automation, but kind of what have been the most um, popular products within your portfolio recently and why, why do you think uh, they are? Yeah, sure. I mean, portfolio is absolutely the term there. So omni-channel, you know, all the channels, you know, things like email, actually seen a lot more of that. People want email managed with a proper SLE, not 24 hours or 48 hours, but more like one hour. They want to put those into queues, have basically pre-read the email in the, in the platform level before they go on to handling it, just like you would with a voice call. But we're also seeing a lot of activity around the adjacencies, as we call them. So things going on around the periphery of the actual contact itself. So CKS, which you know, we developed as our lightweight CRM, that's been seeing a lot of action as an orchestration layer. Uh, bringing together multiple systems of record. And it had a starring role last year in the 2021 UK census for the Office of National Statistics. So that's really proven its worth. Increasingly, that's part of probably most of our deployments. Workforce management as well. Now, we've always integrated with all the leading workforce management packages, but now we also have our own. And that's very visually based. And it's all about predictive workforce management. So who are you going to need uh, next week, tomorrow, this afternoon versus who's on shift and really predicting the traffic against your resourcing needs. So that WFM increasingly in demand by our customers. And then I suppose the other adjacency I'd say is around the recorder. We've always had recording, of course, call recording central, but now a screen recording that's increasingly now going into the realms of quality management. So people are wanting to audit, they wanting to have dynamic scorecards. And increasingly as well, we're automating the selection of different types of recording to audit based on the, the type of agent. So a lot of those manual activities that would involve managers kind of scrabbling around trying to find five of these types of recordings for this type of agent or this type of supervisor, we're automating a lot of that. So those high value resources in our customer organizations can be used to best effect. If you, you mentioned health. Sometimes these are kind of senior clinical managers and uh, they're, they're looking for call recordings, maybe for a, a 111 or a clinical assessment service. Uh, and they've, they've got to produce a certain number of those. They were wasting hundreds of hours a month looking around trying to find these recordings. Now we kind of automate that. So they go straight in. These are the clinician recordings you've got to score uh, and you can crack on with that. I compared it to having a top chef and sending them to the supermarket to go and buy all the ingredients. You just wouldn't do that. So why waste really valuable resources doing things that are suboptimal? So yeah, that's definitely a, a view around our portfolio. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a great analogy. And you know, obviously with Content Guru, we've got such a broad portfolio, it's great to kind of highlight a lot of those examples, such as kind of WFM and quality assurance, and kind of it's interesting to see kind of where, where you go with those um, in the future as well. And I think that kind of brings me on to my next question of kind of what can your customers expect uh, from Content Guru in the next 12 months? Well, I think what you're going to see a lot more of is a mobile task assistant. So the DTA, the desktop task assistant, that's been the kind of staple for us. It's what the agent lives in. Um, it delivers all the channels to their screen. Uh, and it's great, you're in the contact center or you're a home uh, agent and you're on a laptop. A lot of the time now, we want to be able to bring in the mobile environment, so the smartphone. So we've got a new app and we've always been quite app resistant at Content Guru. Uh, but actually, an app, if you are a contact center agent, 
that delivers your DTA onto that screen, uh, that's proving hugely popular. Uh, and also people can use it if they're perhaps in more of a back office function and they're using it as a UC, uh, perhaps a subject matter expert, maybe a planning officer in a council or something that people will need to refer to. So I think that MTA, which in time that will have uh, the workforce management on there as well. So you get alerts that we need someone to cover this busy hour uh, and there's extra pay available uh, and I want to swap my shifts or request a holiday. All of that kind of thing you're going to manage from that app. So I think that's something really you'll see more of from us over this next 12 months. More automation, particularly natural language processing. That's getting so competent now that it's just popping up everywhere, replacing uh, a lot of IVR, especially. And you know, no one will shed a tear for press one or press two, I don't think. Uh, and then probably the, the third one I'd say is moving from that number two market to encompass as well the, the number one market, the US. Uh, always a tough nut to crack is where most of our toughest competitors come from. Uh, so yeah, we're with our new East Coast office in, uh, in Reston, Virginia, added to our West Coast office in San Jose, uh, we're really seeing a lot more headway uh, with those big US customers. It's where the majority of big contact centers are uh, and large organizations. So we absolutely want to be making waves there. So I guess that's uh, our view ahead for, for the near term. Mm. Yeah, and again, uh, I keep going back to but lots of uh, interesting uh, things in there, especially kind of the app for agents and to kind of um, to control their experience. And, you know, we talk a lot about work-life balance and the possible, the potential that can bring to a contact center agent is exciting. And also the kind of AI developments um, in terms of replacing IVR. And um, I think that's a, that's a very interesting topic. And as you say, nobody will shed a tear <laughs> for no. the IVR. And it's exciting to hear about your future too. But um, for our viewers that do want to kind of find out more, um, about content guru and what you do, where can they uh, where can they go for that? Well, obviously, with CX summits coming up, do come to our content guru content hub there. Yeah, there'll be lots to see, and of course, anytime you want to drop by the the content guru website, there's there's always interesting stuff going on there, uh, and you can book a demo, you can have a chat with with any of our solution people. So yeah, we like to be open, and, and you know, we'll we'll chat to to anyone. So uh, don't worry too much uh, what your question is. Just fire away uh, and, and come and have a fish around and have a play in our environment. Excellent. Yeah, I think that's a great place to end today's conversation. But thank you very much uh, for joining me, Martin. Absolute pleasure, Charlie. Excellent. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Goodbye.